So uh, we're going to try to do this uh, system of equations that I somehow I got the wrong answer yesterday, but here we go. Um, that's it. System of equations is an example. Your directions will always be solve, which means, again, provide all the values for x, y, and z that um, solve these equations. And of course, since there are three of them, we're talking about uh, a point where all three of these lines intersect. Or uh, there's a couple other situations as well. So um, we reviewed those in class. So let's go ahead and work on the mechanics. Uh, first, the, hopefully I won't combine methods, but I'm going to try to stick to substitution this first go around. All right. And we'll do a check too because I don't know what the answer is to this one, but it was pulled from, uh, from the software. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one that's easy to solve for. That one seems easy to solve for x, and I won't get any fractions, so let's start out with that. Um, if, I sub if I add 2z to both sides and subtract 7y to both sides, I get x is equal to uh, 2z minus 7y minus 11. So now, wherever there's an x in the other two equations, I'm going to substitute that in. So my other two equations will look like this. Uh, I'm going to draw a line, and now my system looks like this. Negative 2 times 2z minus 7y minus 11 plus 5y plus 3z equals negative 12. That's a 12. Let's fix that. Smooch. I don't know if that's not even a word. Okay. And then my other equation is going to be 3x plus 2y minus 5z equals 1. And if we go back to orange, we're going to do this 2z minus 7y minus 11, which again is this guy. So now um, I'm going to have two equations that only have two unknowns y's and z's. So let's go ahead and work this out. Uh, what is that going to be? Negative 4z, positive 14y. I'm just distributing the negative 2. Positive 22. And I still have plus 5y plus 3z equals negative 12. I'll do the other one. That's going to be 6z minus 21y. That smells wrong from the last time I did it, but okay. Minus 33 plus 2y minus 5z equals 1. Now I have these guys. I'm going to combine the combine like terms. So what do I got? I got uh, 14y's and 5y's. That's 19y. I got negative 4z's and 3z's. So that's going to be minus z. I have 22 over here positive equals negative 12. This one I have negative 26 z's. These numbers don't look familiar from yesterday. But, oh, that's just wrong. That's not a y. Oops, didn't want to do that. That's not a y. That's a z. So it's 21y and 2y. So that's negative 19y. This is what we got, I think. Negative 19y and 6z minus 5z is plus 1z. And then 33 is minus 33 equals 1. Now I'm going to subtract 22 from both sides in the first equation. And I get minus 34. This one I get negative 19y plus z equals 34. And note, these equations are the same except they're opposite signs, right? So what if I multiply this first equation by negative 1? I get negative, positive, positive. Notice they're exactly the same. So these two equations are the same. If I added or subtracted these equations from each other, I'd get 0 equals 0, which is a true statement. Okay. So um, that means that these two lines are right on top of each other. They coincide. They are uh, dependent. 
So let's do the following. Let's take one of these equations, doesn't matter which one, uh, let's say uh, the second one. So I got negative 19y plus z equals 34, and then solve for z. So I'm going to add 19y to both sides. z equals 19y plus 34. Right? That's how I'm going to go represent z. Now, let's uh, go back to the original equations. And wherever there was a z, substitute this in instead. So I get, I have to blow this up here, and then slide back and forth. So don't yell at me. Negative 2x plus 5y. Negative 2x plus 5y. I'm just going to copy it over. Plus 3z equals something. I'll do that later. x plus 7y. x plus 7y. Negative 2z. And then the last one is 3, 2, negative 5. 3, 2, negative 5. And then negative 12, negative 11, and 1. Negative 12, negative 11, and 1. Now, like I said, I'm going to substitute this in 19y plus 34. 19y plus 34. this in there, I also might forget it. 19y plus 34. Okay, go back to just filling this out. 7y minus 2z, that's going to be 2 times that thing, negative 11. 3x plus 2y minus 5 times, again, that thing equals 1. And we're just confirming that the whole thing, we now know that x and y are dependent on each other because they're the same line, but does that mean that the third line uh, the third variable is also in the same situation, so let's uh, do this. We're going to distribute the. Uh, we're going to do some do some distribution here. So negative two x that doesn't change plus five y that doesn't change plus three times nineteen. Uh, I don't have a calculator on me, so that's three times twenty, which is sixty minus three is fifty three. I'm sorry, 57 plus right, 3 times 20 is 60 minus 3, 57. And 34, not going to be so pretty. 34 times 3, why did it make my 4 that way? 12, 9, 10, 102 equals negative 12. And x plus 7y minus 38y minus 68 equals negative 11. And then 3x plus 2y minus 5 times 20 is 100, minus 5 is 95y. And then that one I have to do that. 34 times 5 is 20, 15, 17. And 70 equals 1. So let's go combine like terms. Again, notice how I copy down every single equation, whether I'm working on it or not, so I can just slide this up and just look at what's what's new or what the, the new set of equations. So negative 2x doesn't change because there's not another x term. I got 5y and 57y, which is 62y plus 102. I'm going to subtract 102 from both sides. So 102, that's negative 114. And then this guy, I have x plus minus, oops, sorry, minus, minus 7. So that's minus 31y. Things start to look promising. Add 68 to both sides. So that's going to be positive 57. Maybe you notice something already. 3x plus 2y minus 93y equals add 170, so that's 169. Okay. 
So here's the thing to kind of notice. If I multiply this by a negative 1, that becomes positive, this becomes negative, this becomes positive. So notice all these are positive, all these are negative, all these are positive. Not a big deal in and of itself. But this equation is twice that, right? 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 31 is 62, 2 times 57 is 114. This equation is 3 times this one. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 31 is 93, and I assume 3 times 57, ooh, maybe it won't work. 3 times 7 is... 21. Oh, that doesn't work out, does it? 16, 17. Did I do that wrong? Yes, I did do that wrong. It is 171. There's a mistake. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And I'll point out my mistake, which is unfortunate. Um, my mistake is... When I added 170 to this side, it should be 171, right? Maybe you caught it and you're sitting there waiting for me, so 171. So all three of these equations are the same equation, so that system is dependent. So we have to represent the dependency by choosing one of the variables. I'm going to choose that one. So if I take this equation and solve it for x, x equals 31y plus 57. Now, I chose this one because it was easiest to solve for x. And so I get this representation for x. So if I had a set of points, uh, if I had a set of points that represents all the solutions, it would be where x is equal to 31y plus 57. And y is going to be equal to y, because that's going to be my first input. I'm going to stick a number in for y, and then x will come out based on this representation, and z will come out based on some other representation, which is also going to be a function in terms of y. So I'm going to have to take one of, uh, one, uh, not one of these, because there's no z in there, right? I'm going to have to go back to one of the original equations, choose one that has z in it, maybe the one that's easiest to solve for z, substitute this in for x, and go from there. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, so we'll leave this here, and we'll scroll around, find out what I need. I need to get an equation. That's easy to solve for z. I guess I'm going to choose the second one. Okay, so I'm going to choose that one. x plus 7y minus 2z. x, x plus 7y minus 2z equals, let's go back to that, negative 11. Negative 11. And what I'm going to do is, for x, I'm going to substitute that expression I had, 31y plus 57. So plus 7y minus 2z minus 11. And that's going to be 31y plus 57. OK? And why do I have that? I don't even have this messed up. This equals, okay? And when I'm done with that, I get 31y plus 7y is 38y. 38y. That's 57. So I'm going to subtract 57 from both sides. So that's going to be 68 negative. And this is going to be minus 2z. But I'm trying to figure out what z is in terms of y. So now I'm going to solve for z. So subtract 38y from both sides, and I get negative 2z equals negative 38y minus 68. And I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2, and I'm going to get z is equal to 30, 15, 19y plus 34. Okay, and so this finishes up our solution. It's going to look like this. And uh, the system is going to give you little boxes. So for x, that's equal to 31y plus 57. y is y, and z is 19y plus 34. And then you have to tell the system in set notation that 
y is any real number or that it's a, it's a value in the real numbers. That little strange looking e thing is a symbol for in. It's a set notation. So that's my solution. Uh, the cool thing about systems of equations is you can check every single one to see if it works, if it's correct. So we're going to put these values in. Uh, that's kind of a pain. Um, we already know that it, no. Yeah, that's how we're, we're, we're done. Uh, if I were going to try to use elimination, um, I think that's harder when you got uh, three variables, but let's go back to this original. Actually, I'll do it in a separate video because this is already long enough. Okay.